it's Ms. K from Teacher Blog Spot. I'm here to tell you about how to multiply by threes on your fingers. Kids can use their hands as a tool to learn to multiply by threes. So if a student is struggling, they can do this as a support, not as a crutch. Eventually, students should be able to learn their threes without having to use their fingers as much. So if you turn your hands to the side with your palm, you're going to see three finger sections conveniently grouped on your hand. So it's where your fingers bend. And this will allow students to multiply any fact from 3 times 1 up to 3 times 10 on their fingers. So um, here's your finger sections. For example, you can see there on your thumb it's a little harder to see but you can use those for multiplication. Now, even though I'm saying you can use all of your, you can use your fingers for your three multiplication facts, it's more accurate to start with the other number. So for example, if you're saying five times three, because it's five groups of three um, sections on your fingers. So if you're doing five times three, you have five fingers and three sections on each finger. So you'd say five groups of three, or five times three. So let's start out. I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Five times three is 15, or five groups of three is 15. Now let's say you wanted to do something a little larger. Let's say you wanted to do seven times three. So I've already got my five. So there's six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So seven times three is 21. Now you could also go all the way up to 10. So let's look at three times 10. So there's my 10 fingers. So let's say three times 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 10 times three is 30, or three times 10 is 30. 10 groups of three, or 10 times three. Now, let's say you have a student who's really starting to pick up on their multiplication facts on their fingers. They might make a building block out of it like this. For example, they would say, well, I know five times three is 15 because I counted that already on my finger. So five times three is 15. I just don't remember what seven times three is. So they could say, okay, there's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and get seven times three is 21 when a, with a lot shorter time. And essentially they're using the distributive property. So students are seeing the distributive property in action just by using their fingers. So the fingers are not as low level of a tool as we might tend to think they are. They actually can be a very powerful tool for students to recognize properties. So I hope you have enjoyed this video from me, Miss K at teacherblogspot.com.